for its national championship basketball programs, there is one championship team that flies under the radar, the Yukon hurling team. Hurling, a sport originating from 7th century Ireland, has made its way to stores. It's a complex game that combines elements of rugby, field hockey, and lacrosse, and involves more than one way to score. It's a ball and stick sport. Basically, there's a goal with an upright over it. You get it through the upright, one point, get it in the goal, it's three. It's a field sport and it's very fast. It's called the fastest game on grass. With a niche sport like curling and only about 15 people who show up to practice regularly, the team is always looking for new members who share their interest. Everyone who does it is always like really happy to find other people who like it. So there's a really big like community and there's a lot of camaraderie with it. And the team's camaraderie led to a championship run last year in the National Collegiate Gaelic Athletic Association, culminating with a last second shot in the championship game against the two-time reigning champ, Montana. We scored a goal in the last second to win by two and it was fantastic. It was, you know, we didn't even know the score. The scoreboard, it was windy so the scoreboard blew over so no one had any idea. And then the whistle sounds, we have, no one knows and the ref just announced the score and it was like bedlam, pandemonium. It was awesome. Despite their championship victory, the team is largely unknown on campus, overshadowed by mainstream sports like basketball and football. There's no way to kind of get out of the shadows and to keep doing things like winning national championships and stuff like that. But for many of the players, like Ben Tierlink, the friendships they've made are equally as important as the notoriety and championships they play for. It's a lot of fun. It's a great group of people. It's where I've made my best friends on campus, and it's one hell of a sport. The team is currently preparing for their first home game to be played in Glastonbury. The team will look to defend their title as they build off of the experience they gained from last year. From stores, Ian O'Connor, UC Sports.